guys, it's Derek and Zone here. We're doing a review on the Steel RB400. We're gonna go over some key points like the engine, the pump, the gas tank, the hose, the gun, and the oil that uh, all make this machine a very good machine. Uh, also, I'm gonna talk about some other things, why I went with a Steel um, and this particular machine rather than any other. Um, I'm also gonna talk about uh, just like things like getting parts, why you should go with like the steel. Um, but yeah, I, th I really think this is an excellent pressure washer. I really think you guys should buy it with the things I'm gonna tell you about it. Um, for me, just using this machine, it's very good on cars, uh, ATVs, four wheelers. You know, I use it practically almost like two times a week, you know, just washing the uh, KX and the brute force and all my other machines just because I'm a clean freak. Um, but yeah, you could also, you know, this is obviously a like high-end like homeowner uh, pressure washer, so you could be using it for things like the patio, uh, the house, uh, really whenever you just want to power wash something, pressure wash something, however you want to call it. Um, it isn't too powerful, you know, it's, it's uh, the right amount of power, at least for me, uh, kind of just wanting that top quality of a machine. Uh, this thing will spit about spit out about 2,700 psi from the gun, which is a really good amount. You know, you get into some of these um, higher uh, psi pressure washers. You know, like a say for example, like a 4,000. Some people just get crazy with those because you know when you go use it on a patio, you just destroy the wood or whatever your patio is made of. Um, I mean, I have tracks on my own patio, but uh, you know, we're not gonna talk about that. It, it'll destroy stuff, so when you're getting into that much power, it's a pretty serious amount for a homeowner doing more of your homeowner stuff, but uh, it's just your homeowner applications. Uh, but yeah, like I said, very good machine. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more later about some other stuff, but I'm going to get to the key points why this machine is so good. So this steel RB400 is powered by 196cc Kohler engine. Uh, it's a very good engine. You know, there's, there's really no other reason why steel would pick another brand of engines. You know, it's a proven engine to steel. You know, they're, they're not a company that's just going to throw a piece of crap motor in it. Um, Another motor option that I think they could have had or provided is a Honda. Um, I mean, I prefer the Honda if I had to choose between the two, but uh, the Kohler is, is an excellent engine. You know, there's no reason why Steel would just put the Kohler in if they didn't feel it is the better engine. Um, but yeah, again, like I'm a Honda guy, but this has been an excellent engine. Um, it's powerful, uh, and you know, it gets the job done, you know, with the amount of power this thing puts out. So this thing is powered by a 3.6 liter uh, gas tank. It's pretty big for uh, what it is, you know. It, it, I haven't refilled it in probably like I think like a week, and I used it probably like five times, maybe you know, maybe like ten minute session. So it's it, it holds a lot of gas. I wouldn't say it guzzles a lot. Um, takes like I guess they recommend in the book 89 octane I'm pretty sure off the top of my head uh, I know on the two strokes like I have a steel BR 700 and a uh, you know my weed whacker and uh, what's it my chainsaw and I know they take 89 or they you know that's what they recommend you know you could put 91 but uh, I just put what they recommend you know I don't need to go any more crazy and I could also save a buck in the long run um, but yeah, again, it's not a bad idea even to run like the no ethanol. I mean, over here in New York, uh, they have 91 and they have 93, but for some of you guys, they don't have uh, the 93, so just get the 91 or the 89. Uh, just put what it's recommended. But it's, again, it's a really big, uh, pretty big tank for a, a decent sized unit. Um, and uh, ironically, they have, they call this the Dirt Boss, and my chainsaw, they, they, they call it the Farm Boss. So, I feel like, you know, this kind of got a cool thing they call each other products. I mean, that's not, 
doesn't they don't have anything from what I know of that has a cool little name on the uh, on my weed whacker, my steel FS80 or my steel BR700 back neck blower. But again, very pretty big uh, gas can or gas can gas tank for this uh, uh, unit. <laughs> if I can speak, but uh, yeah, very good. So this machine has a uh, very good gun. Um, I've used a bunch of other machines, and you know their gun isn't as uh, quality feeling as uh, some of the others that I've used. Uh, but I'll bring it over here. It's a very good gun. Um, it, it just feels really solid. Uh, the end here, the little uh, quick neck thing, it just feels really solid. But overall, very solid. I guess um, this thing will come out here. And, you know, it'll just kind of prevent, actually, I think you got to go a little bit more, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. It'll just prevent people from pulling the trigger when not needed. And if I could do it, you just pull it back, and boom, pull the trigger. But uh, this is where you connect it, just push it in, and you just tighten it uh, as, like, really any other pressure washer. But it's a very good hose or gun. This is a very strong point about this pressure washer, uh, is the hose. It's a very good quality hose. Um, I have a Roy OB 1800 PSI electric pressure washer in it. It really, it's, it's got a piece of crap. The hose is terrible, you know, it's always crinkled. Uh, it's got uh, kinks in it. It, is, it's, it really is a piece of crap and it's so annoying just to try to untangle. Um, this thing barely tangles. I mean, I've had it tangle a couple times, but it, it really never tangles. It's just a really solid hose. Um, but again, you have your two endpoints. Uh, you know, you put one of them right into the pump. It comes right out this way. So you kind of, you just want to make sure you're positioning it in the uh, right way or whatever you're doing. Uh, I don't know why I pointed over there, but maybe you're doing something over there. I don't know. But, uh, and then the other, ho uh, the other end goes into the gun, which I just showed you. Uh, I'm not going to do it, but uh, again, they just connect and it's a very good hose, very good quality. So this RV400, it comes with, uh, comes with four of these uh, quick little nozzles that you can put on the end. It's a quarter inch uh, disc, quick disconnect, whatever you want to call it. But it's got a, uh, it comes with a 15, which is, let's see if I pull it out, it comes with a 15 which is the, if I get my camera in focus, which is the yellow one. Put that back in here. Um, I'm not going to show you all, but you know, it's just your standard uh, quick disconnect um, nozzles. Comes with a 25, 40, and a 65. Uh, maybe a 65 you, uh, you probably haven't seen on a bunch, uh, maybe like this top grade machine. Or you probably haven't you haven't seen it in like the uh, lower grade machines, but uh, I barely used the 65, and I didn't think I've ever used. I think I've used it once maybe, but I primarily just used the 40 and the uh, 25. Uh, but each uh, nozzle, you know, it's got its uh, strong points. But again, I just use the 25 and the 40. 40 I use the most, but uh, they're very good, very good, uh, very good nozzles. So this machine um, takes the uh, takes some pump oil. Uh, this thing uh, factory has it already in there, so uh, you don't need to add any um, when you get it. But eventually, you want to change that out. Um, it uses this steel, uh, just steel pump oil. You know, whatever this stuff says. You know, that's for you guys if you really care. Um, but all I really care about, me personally, is I just put this stuff in here. You know, I don't usually put anything else. Um, I'll just do what they recommend. Uh, you know, obviously, for motor oil, you know, this is just steel engine oil. You know, you can really use any other, I guess. But again, I just put whatever they really recommend. Uh, but again, it's just regular for, uh, for stroke 10W30 stuff. So it's really basic stuff, but uh, you really don't need to, uh, you really don't need to go and get any other brand besides a steel, because at this, I would just do what they recommend, but if you choose to, I, you could probably just get regular 10W30, you know, any other brand, but again, I'm just going to go with what they recommend, because 
that's just how I am with some machinery. But, you know, like some other things you could get away with um, not putting like their own uh, oil and, you know, like for example, the brute force. I don't barely ever put um, the Kawasaki genuine oil in it. Um, I just, I usually put Maxima four cycle uh, oil, you know, it's, it's just as good, but, uh, you know, for this application, it, uh, you, you really don't need that. The reason why I chose a steel pressure washer, um, rather than any other brand is that I, all my, uh, small equipment, yard equipment is steel stuff, you know, like I said, I have a steel backpack blower, a weed whacker, and a chainsaw, and, you know, just to add this to the collection, you know, it's really worth it. You know, you're not kind of dealing with a bunch of other companies. And like I said before, um, when when you have something go wrong with like the steel product, like you know they'll have like a, uh, you know they'll have a replacement part. You know, you could always buy one. It's not like uh, you go buy a piece of machinery from Lowe's or Home Depot and it's some, uh, I mean like, I'll, maybe like a Ryobi, you know. I, I actually, I'm pretty sure they probably do have replacement part but they're not as they're not as easy I guess to get as this thing is you know this this is a top quality machine and you know you're, you're getting what you're paying for you know in the long run this machine is really worth it you know you you could you couldn't go to Lowe's or Home Depot and buy practically in my opinion a piece of crap but um you, you know if you really need to replace something down the road you know you know that this machine has got you covered um, but, uh, yeah, that, that's really why I like steel stuff. You know, I have a bunch of steel stuff, so I, you know, say, hey, they make a pressure washer, I'm going to add it to the collection, and I'm sure it's an excellent piece of machinery. But, um, really, that's some great main reason why I usually will go with a decent quality and uh, well-known, reputable brand like steel, because I've had many steel products, and I've known that they will last for a very long time and it's been proven and they make excellent stuff. So this uh, BRB400, uh, this thing weighs 96 pounds without gasoline, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I'm, I'm going to throw all the specs and whatnot at the end of the video. Um, I may have missed some things, but that's why it's there. You know, I can't remember everything off the top of my head, but... Uh, 96 pounds, I'm pretty sure without fuel, but, uh, you know, it definitely seems like it's 96 pounds. I know 96 is said on the website when I remember. I remember it said 96 pounds, but again, I don't know if that is with fuel or without. I'm pretty sure it's without. Um, but yeah, it's a, uh, it, it's decent, you know, it's big, it's not crazy big. It's, again, it's a it, pretty small unit, you know. It's nothing big, but it, it I guess you say it's middle, you know, middle in size. It's right there in the middle. Um, this thing will like collapse for like long term storage. Uh, you take these little two knobs and you just uh, you untighten them, and this top piece it'll just kind of fold down into the bottom. Uh, you have to take the gun off. I'm pretty sure. I haven't actually done it. Uh, I have space where I could just put it and I really don't care about that, but for some of you, you may want to do that depending on where you're going to store this thing, but uh, the I'm pretty sure, you know, you keep the uh, keep the hose back there because it just collapses with it, but the gun, I don't know if that actually comes with, with it. You may have to just pull it out because uh, you probably can't see, but there's like a little uh, cup at the bottom that holds the uh, gun and you may, again, you may have to... Uh, find another place for that gun if you want to put this in like the long storage mode is what I call it. Um, but yeah, again, it's a, it's a very good machine. Like I've been saying, it's a really good machine. I really love this thing. So actually, I have a, like kind of a question. Uh, if Seal, you're listening to this, uh, and maybe just the audience. But uh, I've looked throughout the whole owner's manual, and I've looked throughout the internet, but uh, this thing, they don't give you an oil, a uh, pump oil. They don't give you a pump oil like, capacity. You know, I feel like it's just the kind of thing where you just kind of fill it up and when it gets to the top, it gets to the top. But uh, they should really have, 
it should provide like how much oil, pump oil this thing takes. Um, it's got the motor oil, but the pump oil is like the real question, you know. You want to make sure you know what it is, you know. You could probably just call it steel, but if we're talking, let's say there is no phones, you know, and like that, like well, society without phones, there is, it doesn't say how much pump oil this thing takes. Uh, maybe it's something you guys know, you guys could post it down below. Um, that'd be great. But again, from what I've been trying to figure out, it doesn't seem like it's got a set like pump oil thing, which they should have listed. But uh, again, it's an excellent machine. I don't, know, I don't know how many times I've said that, but it's an excellent machine. So yeah guys, that's a wrap for today's video. I really appreciate you guys watching. Leave a like, comment, tell me what you thought about the video. Uh, hit that bell icon and subscribe.